Our other big story tonight, that small plane approaching Norfolk International Airport that crashed just short of the runway. And there are a lot of questions for investigators still. The main one, what happened? This was the view from Chopper 10 above Norfolk Botanical Garden just before noon and after some of the fog cleared. It's the only view you've gotten to see all day because the plane crashed in a densely wooded part of the garden called the Enchanted Forest. The single engine Mooney 20 took off from Palatka, Florida, south of Jacksonville, bound for Suffolk Executive Airport. Instead, the pilot, Michael Buxton, flew to Norfolk where it crashed. We have two reports, beginning with 10 of your sides, Brandy Cummings, live in Norfolk. And Brandy, we just heard from the NTSB a short time ago. Right, Nicole, that uh, news conference just wrapped up just moments ago. We want to give you some highlights now. Uh, they, the, the, the NTSB saying they are, of course, here to gather details of the crash. They want to gather as much as they can, as quickly as they can. Of course, they can uh, before the uh, weather changes. The NTSB saying they're trying to get as much documented from that wreck. They are telling us tonight that a company from Delaware is expected to pull the, the plane from the wreck site uh, back in the Botanical Garden tomorrow morning sometime. They do expect to have a preliminary report in 10 days. Right now, they said they are still working to try to figure out where that company will pull the plane from and take it to. Uh, they are assuming, though, that it may go to Delaware, but again, not really clear where that plane will go. But again, the NTSB saying, of course, they do have to look at all of the factors that may have contributed to this wreck. They've got to look at the weather. They've got to look at the mechanics of the plane, even the communication. And so right now, they're gathering all those details. We do want to show you some video, um, some more video from uh, Chopper 10. They are telling us that the crash site was in a very compact area. The NTSB saying that it appears to be just 200 feet from the initial impact point to where the crash, uh, uh, where the crash point is. Uh, he said that the entire aircraft did make it to the site, and right now it doesn't appear to have been a fire on board. But Ken, we are reporting that there were three people all on board that plane that died, and we have not yet, still yet, not yet, uh, been given the official identities of two of the people on the plane. But we want to let you hear just a portion uh, of that uh, news conference that happened just moments ago. The most important part of our process is if we can find information throughout the course of our investigation and make recommendations to prevent future recurrence, that, that's really why we're here, um, to help prevent that next accident, uh, but also to provide an understanding of what happened in this accident uh, to the friends and family of those involved and to the greater aviation community. And of course, we will continue to follow uh, the NTSB investigation. Again, we expect a preliminary report in 10 days. We know this was a 1975 M20F Moody plane that went down this morning. Uh, the crew was expected to, or they did leave Florida 11:57 p.m. yesterday. They were supposed to arrive in Suffolk this morning at 3:23 a.m., but because of weather, they were diverted here to Norfolk. Uh, they were Virginia State Police saying they were contacted at 4:30 this morning. It it took them three hours before they located that plane again here at the Botanical Gardens. For now, live in Norfolk, Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.